Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 playing as America. So, last time, we made Mexico America, we also made Panama America, and we made Ecuador more American. And that was a lot of fun, but right now it's not exactly where we left off. Um, I tried to record a little bit off screen, or I was trying to record, but my voice was not doing so well. Anyways, right now, I'm going to pop this up because I just finished... The Make Puppet Cassis Belli against Peru. So we need to go to war by pretty much late August. So we got a little bit of time before we need to go to war with them. Which we might just find someone else right now then. Hmm. Anyways, we got some social reforms. I like that. Hmm. Do we want a good school system? That would help us educate people more quickly. And get more immigrant attraction and more assimilation rate. Because we could get more research points. We could get, get better health care. Sounds like it'll cost a lot, but... Capital Punishment? I like Capital Punishment. Transportation, Incarceration, Rehabilitation. That looks pretty good as well. I didn't know we had a minimum wage. Huh. But let's go with school system. Uh, children can still work. Even though it says restricted. We don't mind children working. Somewhat. Uh, good. So, by late August we need to go to war. We're making a lot of money. And we still have this debt to Denmark. Yeah. Anyways. So. Uh, no Italy, no. So, someone on my Discord channel left me a little important message regarding America in the late 19th century, especially 1890-ish to 1900. We will eventually go to war with the Spanish... So, we'll have the Spanish Civil... Spanish-American War, because the USS Maine gets blown up. Now, was it the Spanish that blew it up, or was it the Americans that blew it up, or was it someone else that blew it up? I don't know. But, uh, we're gonna go to war with Spain. We might have to piece them out with paying them off and taking their colonies and stuff like that, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. Nice. So, I just wanted to bring that up that I should probably start building more ships. And that's why I started building a lot of dockyards in the south. Like Wilmington, North Carolina, which I think I've been to a few times. Charleston, which I went to actually a long time ago. Savannah, Tampa, a lot of good places in general, so. Yeah. That'd be good. So, uh, we're waiting to go to war because I want to lure my infamy as much as possible because some research points I'm going to go ahead and grab Revolution and Counter-Revolution, because that's really, really good for that. Nostalgic Romanticism. Rhetoric of Hate. Sounds like fun. Suffragettes and Suffragists. Like many nascent political ideologies, the early suffragette movements were not foreign to infighting and organizational splits over issues of tactics and perceived ideological differences. The split between the news and the news and Britain being a poignant example. The suffragette movement in the United States of America is experiencing somewhat of a setback on account of an organizational split. Conservative agenda. Um, let's go with reactionary. That sounds like more fun. Leaflet campaign. Reactionary. Right now, the default is actually probably liberal. Uh, just give me more liberal support. Give me more Republican support for now, just because I can get, get more social reforms passed through. We gotta make as many babies. So that we can have as much of a future, you know, piggy bank. So we can tax people more in the future. Let's see. Let me find someone. Nothing wrong with that. The, now it's the profiteering of these fat cats. Workers' union. Uh, let's not do that. So it's January Uruguay. Oh, hello. Ur Uruguay. I don't want to build up roads because I don't want to make them too good down here. So let's wait just a little bit. You guys should be okay. Yeah, you're fairly okay. You'll be fine against these guys, probably. Lower by a little bit. And immediately, we should probably start justifying on someone else. Peru, Bolivia. How strong is Chile? Chile is not that strong, but they're allied with Brazil. I think it's time to go back to war with Colombia, but we can't. Eh, you know, how about a trip to China? Acquire a sub-state region. Hmm. Cut down to size. Liberate. Release a puppet. Huh, so I can't do a punitive expedition then anymore. Ooh. Oh, they're allied with Persia. Huh. Oh no, let's see. Which. Could I acquire, like, Manchuria? A sub state. Oh no, it might be like this over here. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't want that. I don't know, maybe we'll go with Vietnam. That's probably honestly better. They're only allied with Cambodia. Let's go and do that. Make a puppet? Nah, I'm good with concessions. It's only five infamy, so even if we get caught, I still won't, like, save scum for this one. 
So, ah, mounted of coal. I love coal. Bring us prosperity. So August, August. Can't forget August. I gotta keep that in my mind. August, August, August. Uh, wait, let's make maybe another navy, perhaps. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't want to make just monitors and ironclads, even though they're pretty darn important. I guess we make one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Steam frigates. No, troops, transports. Yeah, that's good. There you go. So, a fire that began in the barn in the residence of Patrick O'Leary on DeCoven Street spread throughout the business district, destroying over 17,000 buildings, killing 300 people, and leaving over 98,000 homeless. Did I kill 300? Where is your cow, oh, Miss Leary? Wow. All we lost is 25 pounds. Is, is that it? Just the Chicago fire happens? A great Chicago fire if we just lose a little bit of money? Hmm. Education efficiency goes down. Or we get plus 2%. I want. I need to get healthcare next, but actually, what do the voters care about? They want low minimum wage. Minimum wage in my capitalist utopia? What? No such thing. No such thing. And it's June. Good. And give me one more month. That they don't go to. Got, oh, we were found out. But it only costs one point, but that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. All right. Spending, time to be very high. And there goes the budget. What am I spending the most on national stockpile purchases? Because I'm probably buying a bunch of clipper ships and stuff like that. And it's going to cost us quite a bit of money. That's okay. And it's July 5th. And it's a little bit past July 4th, whatever. You guys get on a boat. You guys sail down here. Good, let's go to war. For oh, they're out with Argentina, eh? Can I call my allies in? Yeah, they're all come in. That's fine with me. I don't care. Nice. Oh, Argentina, you don't want to join? In on the fun? Nice. So we need to go to war by July 25th through really June of next year. You guys honestly should do, be okay by yourselves. I'm going to come up here and actually come to San Diego, which I've been to once, and then go to war with uh, Vietnam. Good. Hey, look, some Peruvians. Um, ah, oh, you're heading up there. That's fine, you know what? Let them do that. Let them do that. Oh, we got a little bit of this, too. Cuba. Spain, we kind of like them. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we do want to buy Cuba off of them. That's right. That's why I'm trying to get more money, or at least that was my original goal. Offer to buy Cuba. We just need a ton of money and be at peace. So, and we don't have the main incident yet, so... We need to do that before that happens. Germany is not allied with us, but it's good to be in good relations with them. It's weird. It's 1871, and Italy has yet to form. Austria-Hungary was fighting Sardinia-Piedmont, so that makes sense. And they forced them to re release Modena, so... Uh, they're killing each other, they're killing each other. The French, the British, the Russians. Actually, I've, I've got pretty good relations with everyone. Even Shogun at Japan. So, the Dutch? Sure. Alright, so are they up in San Diego? Good. After this, we might do a military attack, maybe. Go for Tonkin. Let's do that. How strong are they militarily? 20? That's not bad. I mean, we're probably a little bit more advanced than them. Probably probably a little more advanced. Sorry, Chile. Sorry. Nice. Ah, Kajamarka. Hey, I'm making a little bit of money back. Nice. Bribing officials, Egyptian officials in Alexandria have refused our Egyptian expedition to unload vital excavation equipment in the Alexandrian port. The Egyptian custom system is a Byzantine construction which is nigh on impossible to penetrate without personal pull or money. We could put pressure on the Egyptian government over the issue, but it might be best if the expedition simply bribes its way through Egypt. Bribe forward? Yeah. They like money. Who, who got this? Is that Japan? Japanese Peru. Oh yeah! The Japanese are here. Ah, I love our great allies. I've never heard of this in the future. Never. What is that? Maybe the rebels here? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, yeah, we're making another fleet. That's good. The Mercury, the Huron. Ships are almost there. Hello. Hopefully, we don't die here. Um, on Chama, Cook in China. Obviously, we can't get Tonkin. 
On Nam, I think Cook and China is probably better. Yeah, let's get Cook and China. I'm only gonna grab this one little tile piece first. Um. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Go to Haifeng. That's good. Oh, oh, we had rebels in some rebels in Chicago, maybe. Blow up their ship, maybe. Come on. I want to get that port so we can heal up my guys up a little bit. And yay, we beat the boat. We should do okay on attack there. We should. Nice. Oh, Liberia is helping us. Nice. <clears throat> oh, it's 1871, the end of Reconstruction. Really? It's only been six years. The Civil War is becoming a distant thought in the minds of most Americans, and with that comes decisions as to where our country is headed. Sorry, I've got a couple of Earl Grey tea here. African Americans have achieved an unprecedented level of political equality in the country, but with Southern whites reass reasserting their authority over state legislatures, it looks as if our work towards racial equality will begin to stagnate and digress. Tensions between the peoples of the South will eventually reach a boiling point sooner or later if nothing is done, and we need to look towards the future of the country. The U.S. is at a crossroads politically and culturally, culturally so whatever path we shall we step towards will now surely determine the nation, kind of nation will be. Make friends and make harder amends to the African diaspora. Uh, oh, Dixie and African American become accepted cultures. Our first priority should be unifying North and South culturally, and they both become accepted cultures. We get less, less same, same amount of prestige, and then we should embrace the North and South regional differences. Oh, we get Texan Dixie, T Dixie again, and African American, and we. Re Ooh, the CSA loses cores. Huh. Well, let's let's unify the North and South. Cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, by the end of this campaign, I might not be able to just annex all of Canada, but I'll at least make him my puppet, at the very least. I'll make him, I'll definitely make him my puppet. Alright, let's come back over here to Asia, because it's a little bit more important to watch this. Oh, yeah, we just took them all out that way. Nice. Ship's looking good. How much further do we have to go with this? Can we not accept this? It's almost over anyways. Nice. I really want to send someone else that way. That's okay. These guys are looking pretty good, too, though. Shouldn't take us too long to take that province, but I want to find another army so we can just maybe peace out with them. Maybe, maybe not. American Vietnam? Anyone? I'm glad the Japanese are here. I love the Japanese. Colonial education policy. More comprehensive education policy. Absolutely. American Red Star? No. I don't want more socialism here. All poor strata? All rich? Uh, let the rich become more socialist. There's less, there's less rich people than poor people. Probably. There we go. Nice. That's what I'd like to see, my son. I'll put you one of you guys up there. I'm going to put one of you guys right there, too. Awesome. Uh, and they immediately want to join us. Good. And Ecuador, you really don't like us that much yet, so we're going to do that, too. So we have American Peru. Why did we forget about Ecuador? What the heck, guys? Alright, so how's this coming along? Ah. Uh, oh. Actually, we should be able to peace them out now. Is, yeah, we don't have enough jingoism. We can come back and go to war later on. That's fine. Get a peace now so we can lower our infamy. Nice. Come to Saigon. I'm going to let you guys go back home. You can be like the Pacific Fleet. While the other side is going to be the Atlantic Fleet. So, hey. Two wars done already? Nice. Oh, American Indochina. With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, Americanism, or American administrators have advised elevating the region to a full department, clearly with eyes on expanding American colonial rule to neighbors in Southeast Asia. It is required for the use of imperialism CB in Indochina. Only European GPs have access to this GP. We get prestige. Oh, they don't like us. Well, what else is new? So let's focus on getting a lot more money right now. We need a lot more money. Uh, let's do that. Uh, fuel seems okay to get. Let's do it like that. There we go. And we're gonna get social science. I said I wanted military stuff. After social science, oh, we can't do this either yet, huh? 1880 or 1875. Nice. We gotta make a lot of money. We gotta get all the monies. Oh yeah, and we got another one of those. Nice. National focuses. We're trying to get bureaucrats back up here. Virginia, you're done. Yes. Oh, it is the end of reconstruction, so. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Not here, it's here. 
Nice. So we have Yankee. Wait. We don't. Oh. I thought we got African American as an accepted culture. I guess not. Huh. Well then. Hmm. I thought we did. Well, they're still here. I mean, regardless. What are they going to assimilate? Can they assimilate? Well, let's see. So you got Afro American here in Tennessee. No, they don't think. They, I don't think they will assimilate. But this piece is pretty good. Earl Grey, I love it. Look at that money. Mm, Peruvian thought. I'm glad we're out of that war. Because this is not going to be looking good right now. Alright, you know what? Just in case. Ooh, you need another infantry. Build at least one more infantry. Yeah, build a guard. A Dixie God. Go ahead and rank that back up. we got to make more money. And put down socialists. Like normal. Good. So you guys kind of hang out, stay there. Uh, Bolivia. Hmm. Bolivia or Colombia? Bolivia would be easier to take out first. Yeah, it'd be much easier to take out. You guys come down here. Nice. We're doing pretty well. We are, of course, entering the Gilded Age. Uh, late 19th century in America, so... Can't wait to see a bunch of corporations... How I found Livingston. Our hearts and feelings wi are with our eyes. As we peer into the palms and try to make out in which hut or house lives the white man with the gray beard we heard about on the Malagarazi. We're now about 300 yards from the village and the crowds are dense about me. I push back the crowds and walk down with the living avenue of people until I came in front of the semicircle of Arabs. In the front which stood the white man with the gray beard. As I advanced slowly towards him, I noticed he was pale, looked wearied, had a gray beard, wore a bluish cap with a faded gold band around it, had on a red sleeve waistcoat and a pair of gray tweed trousers. I would have to run to him, but only I was a coward and in the presence of such a mob would have embraced him. Only he, being an Englishman, I did not know how he would receive me, so I did what cowardice and false pride suggested was the best thing. Walked deliberately to him, took off my hat, and said, Dr. Livingstone, I presume? Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. Very light, buddy. Uh, you thought we had a bad time with, you know, Confederates? We have a worse time with... Uh, Socialists. Oh. Oh, actually. DC's still okay, so that's good. Ah, sorry, Nicaragua. No, 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 no. Go to just in case. Go ahead and do that, too. And I want to... We're almost ha we almost have enough money, so I'm just going to wait first. And we are Republican. I forgot about that. Do that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I should have been focusing... I should have been focusing more on... Building on my industry, but then again, this is America. I mean, we'll probably do okay regardless. So, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't build states or build factories in the states. Oh, I try to open up all those factories. It cost me so much money, so much money. Nice, very nice. Oh, liberty enlightening the world. Yes, the people of France have presented to the American people a. Sp a uh, spectacular gift, an enormous copper statue, 151 feet tall, depicting a woman carrying a torch, representing and named Liberty enlightening the world. The design has been carried out by one Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, and a place has been set aside for the statue on the island of New York Harbor. The statue will henceforth be known as simply as the Statue of Liberty. Awesome. We love the French. More. Well, look at that assimilate, assimilation rate for the next 10 years. Gateway to America for New York. Oh, God. Oh, did something happen? Nice. Very nice. Uh, and, of course, the UK would found the first international... How much would it take for me to make these guys a puppet? Oh my gosh, hold on. So it takes, uh, 10 infamy. We'll probably have to save, save scum for that one. But, uh, holy cow. Uh, where's it? Where are, my, where are my armies? You have to come down here. Oh, wait, these are, these are Confederate nationalists. Oh, they never got rid of... Wait. You don't have cores, though. Hold on, we gotta raise up money. Give me just a little bit of time. They haven't sieged it yet. Oh my god, you lost? How did you lose? Alright, give him a, give him a little month to get some more organization up. Alright. 
Well, that's not much. Yep, you got more numbers, though. Who is that? So, how how did broken did you become? Did, I've never seen that flag before. Holy cow. Alright, see what happens here. You should do okay. We're getting way more supplies in here. Okay, good. DC will be fine, so then we'll be able to kill everyone else here. That'd be good. So, slim picketings. <clears throat> so, Sephir just picketed a local bar in one of our provinces, becoming the laughing stock of our entire state. A sign of two fr relatively frail upper class women standing their placards outside the bar, picketing for women's suffrage and temperance. It's not only being made into an object of ridicule, it's also causing some anger among the lower classes who feel that the well offs, the high and mighties, and the holier than thous are trying to patronize or matronize, as the case may be, with them with sophistry and rhetoric. It sounds like nothing has ever changed in America. Freedom of free speech. Put down these Confederate nationalists. We won the war fair and square. Oh my god, socialists. Guys, guys, guys. Like, seriously. That's okay. I gotta pull you guys off, and I need at least one of these armies back. Oh my goodness. We have them even here in. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I raised up my budget, but. You know what? Separatist, separatist. Conservative. Oh, go reactionary. We're going to put down a lot of socialists. I'm glad we're winning the battles, but. We shall rebuild. That's fine, yeah. And... Confederate Nationalists, of course. Oh, God. They're going around the entire South American continent. That's right. Oh, my goodness. This is really bad. I might have stepped back. Whatever. Going over to here to D.C., if we can, I'm gonna make another one. Three. We'll see what we get in the end of this. Minor setback, that's fine. Oh, god dang. Oh, I actually lost that battle. Holy crud, Arenos. Just leave if you can. Leave, leave. You don't have the organization for this. Leave, leave. Come on, leave. Nice. More education efficiency. Now we good. Mm. Assembly line. Oh, that could be really good. I'm going to grab one of these real quick. Let's go with... Oh, machine guns. That's... We're definitely going to need machine guns here. So, <clears throat> we have two decisions. We can let time go on after I increase my relations with American Ecuador and Cuba. Not Cuba. Peru. Yeah, I can't buy Cuba until these guys are all put down. So... Uh, which one do we want to do? Search for the Aegean civilizations. Interest has been growing in the academic community about the fate of the so-called Aegean civilizations, and especially the location of the ancient city of Troy. Funding researchers to scour Greece and Anatolia for the remains of these civilizations, and making sure our education spending is high, will increase the prestige of our nation if they find the treasures of the ancient world. We lose some money? Good. And enact women's suffrage. Increasingly gain traction in Western society. Oh boy. Uh, time's still going on. So... Uh, first, advocating the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft, Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill. The idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right. Feminism. The first, the experience during the First World War, of course, with women working in the factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime, that is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's rights to work, vote, and other fields of society achieve legal equality with men. Well, do they deserve the right to vote? That is a question. We lose war exhaustion. Uh, rich people get less of a right to vote. Immigrant attraction. Well, if we ever go fascist or communist, we can always rescind that. But do they deserve the right to vote? That is a good question. Where's the draft? Show me the draft. Uh, oh god, thank god. We're getting rid of this. Now we're losing money out, like the, out the wazoo because these socialists ought to be put down. You know, if they want to be losers, so be it. We shall put them down. If they want to rebel for, because they don't like their situation, put them down. Oh, Bolivia. Oh, Bolivia, I got ideas for you, boy. I got some serious ideas for you. Cool. I'm kissing you home. But at this point, you look like you're doing... Well, you know what? I just... We just lost an army, so... Yeah, we just... We, oh, my God. Seriously, if you put these people down, like, it should be a, bl a complete, utter... Such a bloodbath. 
that they would never rise again. Like, I'm gonna do that just in case. Not doing coal, nice. Good, we got another group here. Form up. Good, not looking bad. Go and do that. Should be good enough. The elections of the United States of America, cool. Reheal, heal, oh, reheal. Hmm. Actually, do we have rebels down here? Oh, what are you? Did I tell you to move down here, guys? Pretty sure I did. That's okay. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, you needed some railroads down there. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. You might as well build an army, infantry. Oh, it's the only one you can build. Yeah. From military is good. Alright, so we can probably start lowering this a little bit more. Can't afford to lose all this money. Guatemala, probably not. You guys, did you need it? Yeah, you definitely did need another infantry, which is fine to build right there. Oh, good. We've got more of this. Peru. Nice. Well, with all this stuff going on, at least we've had time to lower our infamy a little bit more. So that's good. Go to the guards. Alright, so it looks like it's mostly over. The rebellions are most... Oh, well, mostly over. Are you just... Oh, look at that. And finally, let's get some better healthcare. The best quality healthcare ever known to man. Are you guys doing stuff? Good. Alright, so we look like we're in a pretty good position. Let's go ahead and lower this down even more so that we can actually maybe build our wealth. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to tax you up a little bit more. Nice. Are we still have our ships moving around. Still got one army here, so let's go and start justifying on Bolivia. Please don't get caught. Oh, and the Republican Party's won with not a lot of support. People's ideologies, man. Oh, labor movements. They are labor movements. Oh, I'm actually, I'm probably going to plan on having a lot of this happen. A lot of rebellions. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Nice. How do we orchestrate it like that? Um, happen all the time now, basically. Mountain of Cold. Very nice. Does anyone need another group? You need artillery. So build that. You need an infantry. Make a guard. And I will see you in just a little bit. Alright, my friends, sorry about that. I know you didn't like that. I usually don't like doing beta and but I had a save scum. But, at the same time, uh, I've just gone to war with Bolivia here. It's 1875, March 18th. Uh, yeah, I just went to war with Bolivia. Now we're at war with Argentina, or actually, no, Corrantes, Bolivia, and Uruguay. And I did call my allies in. And I also am trying to go to war with Mexico at the same time. That's why we're not picking up right where we left off last time. I was just discovered. But we'll do okay. We will do okay. We definitely need one more infantry guy. Good. And actually, I'm going to send you guys up there. And 80's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Lots of education. I called my allies into this war, so we'll see what happens. Shouldn't honestly be too bad. Let's increase relations with Peru. Oh, I can command their units. That's kind of cool. Mission to Empire of Mexico, good. I want to kill these guys off, take that little tile, go to my military, and have a good time with them. Good. Surprise the reward of these guys. They're completely alone, they're not even allied with Argentina. That's interesting. So, yeah, there was a little bit of a gap between the fade out fade in, so my, my apologies. It's just that, let's just say, when I was trying to record part two after the fade in the first time, it didn't go so well, regarding infamy, so, it is what it is, my friends. But regardless, I want Bolivia under us, as well as something else, the Mexican Menace, yeah. 
I mean, at this point, every episode's got to feature me taking out Mexico. I mean, it's just like a, an American pastime. So, And we almost have the assembly line. Love it. That was 1875. That's good. Get a bigger naval base. Yes. We need bigger naval bases. Corantes. Um, sure. It's fine with us. I don't really care. Nice. We're still trying to get more money. Also, unfortunately, Cuba broke free from Spain. So I recognize their independence. They try to ally me. Yeah, here we go. But I said no. So they establish themselves as a free country, and it falls on the Amer Americans as the descendants of the Sons of Liberty to officially recognize their independence and encourage their growth as American allies. I'm going to do say yes, because I get prestige. But I'm going to take them out later on. Just American things. I'm just going to probably have to save scum again, but console commands... No, not console commands. But uh, save scum to make sure I can conquest them. That's pretty much it. Ooh, artillery. Save scumming is pretty scummy, but it is what it is. Especially if we want to take out other nations. Good. And... Roboro. Robore. Nice. Actually, let's take a quick look here. So, bureaucrats are okay. Over here, bureaucrats are eh. Bureaucrats are done. Louisiana. Thank you. You're done. You're done. You're done. Good. Anywhere else that needs administrative stuff. Kentucky. Alaska? No, they don't. Pretty fairly Yankee up there. That's nice. What about down here? We could probably use some bureaucrats, but we can't do anything there. Worry, perhaps? How's Worry doing? Oh, they're doing okay. We could really use that, though. Wait, what is... Dijon has a primary culture. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, alright. Well, then. Let's see. New York, are you still relatively high in intellectuals? You're somewhat high. Let's make Texas fairly intellectual. And maybe up here in New York, we will make them clerics. Get some clerks going, that'd be really good. Instead of... Eh, maybe not that. Cool. So yeah, Cuba broke free. Unfortunate, I know. But we'll take him out soon enough. Probably between this episode and the next. The rise of the triple... Oh. Uh, the decentralized organization primarily composed of white southerners formed in 1865 by Confederate war veterans from Tennessee. A secret vigilante group known for its iconic symbolism of burning crosses and white hoods and robes, the Triple K was formed in opposition to the tenets of a Republican Reconstruction dedicated to preserving the white... White, yes. Uh, okay. In the former Confederate states, the Klan shunned few shunned few means in accomplishing its goal and direct and its violence directed at Southern Republicans, and blacks was, was ruled rather than exception. Man, this description isn't very good. The Klan was suppressed by the federal government by the passing of the Force Acts of 1871. During the first term of Ulysses S. Grant, today, we received news that burning crosses have been seen ablazing against the warm, dark night skies of the South. They took my baby away. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Now, that that brings up the question. Does that pop up for... That probably won't pop up if the Confederates win the Civil War. But... I don't know. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Alright, do you want peace yet? There we go. Now that is what I call beautiful. You guys gonna say that now? Ah, uh, American South America. What a great name. Truly a great name. Let's make sure we have good relations with everyone down here. Ecuador likes, kind of likes us now, which is great. We'll go to war with Mexico very soon. Peru? No. Do that. And... Hawaii. Would you like an alliance? No. Keep the budget high. We finally have a million pounds. But Cuba broke free. Oh, expedition to the Black Hills. Heck yeah. Nice. Guantanamo Bay lease. We need steel steamers, of course. And Havana got owned. Nice. They have 38 military score. Spain? Mmm. Uh, where we're heading, probably not. Probably not. Ooh, okay. yeah, heal yourself. Let's go to war soon enough. And... Oh. Oh, the Pacific Fleet is here. Yeah, you could probably use a little bit more supplies, to be honest with you. Go ahead and do that. And then I'll lower taxes and stuff like that soon enough. We build... 
Oh, there you are. There you are. Wait, did you? Yeah. The National League. Eight teams have banded to form a clean, well-run baseball league. The Boston Red Caps, Chicago White Stockings, Cincinnati Reds, Hartford Dark Blues, Louisville Grays, New York Mutuals, Philadelphia Athletics, and St. Louis Browns. Great. Let's be distracted by sports. Nice. Even with a budget that runs high on military spending, we can still make a lot of money. You guys should be looking fairly good. I'm sending you to the Pacific now. That'd be good. You guys should do fairly well down here. Let's go ahead and do this. And we want, I think it was Sonora? Yeah, Sonora. Just to make it look nicer. Uh, we'll go call everyone in because we can probably. Will everyone accept? Oh, of course they will. Do I not have any great power allies? Hmm. Germany's allied with... Oh, that's Austria-Hungary. Do you like an alliance? No? Okay. I can't increase relations yet either. France? Oh, definitely don't want to ally the French. Yeah. They they do things. They do things. We'll put it like that. After I learn from my Brazil HFM run. I don't really trust the French too much. Ah. South American neighbors, I love you. You know, we could probably just get rid of our alliance with Bolivia. And then puppet them. And then have a good time with them. We might do that. What would be cool is if we could have, like, if we, like, puppet everyone in South America. Can we make, like, one mega South American puppet? Yeah, this is a bad idea. Go in a tree for now. Or throw you guys right here. Oh, that's not too bad. Cool, you guys. Come here. Oh, you guys are here, too. Nice. See what you can do. Um, yeah, that's a bad idea attacking me, guys. That's a really bad idea. Nice, we both we won both those battles. Can we just peace out now? Oh, we need a lot of war score. All right, well, so be it. That's easy. Not too bad. Chile, I got big old plans for you. You guys come there. You guys come there. You guys come here. Cool. And they're beating us up again, or attempting to. That's a bad idea when I win the siege over here. That's a really bad idea, man. Don't want to attack into the mountains. That's a bad idea. How are you? Down here? Cool. Ah, Brazil showed up in Yucatan. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellente. Mexico City shall be ours. Awesome. Keep increasing relations with my puppets. And... Make sure Bolivia likes us too. I gotta keep an ally down here or an army down here. Just make sure that no one rebels. That'd probably be a good thing. Oh, we're losing quite a few guys over here. That's okay. And we still have one. Wow. No, we good. Action and reaction. More reactionary? Uh, doesn't really matter to me. Oh, we beat up some ships. That's good. Oh, they're out of organization. Yeah, we're still gonna win. So that's good. All right. Could you guys win right there? You might be able to licensing act. Influenced by intensive lobbying from the Temperance League, one of our states has adopted a licensing regulation that allows residents the right to issue or retract liquor licenses in their local districts. With strong public support, the licensing act has thus prohibited the sale of liquor throughout the state. Many local breweries have been denied the right to sell their produce locally and have been forced into bankruptcy. They're free to do as they see fit. Force or repeal the act. Um, let's do that one. Nice. Very nice. Mexico, Mexico City is ours. Go ahead and put them down. Awesome. Oh, oh, they got some rebels here too. Ah, well, militant socialists, which we will have eventually. Uh, sure, we'll just gra grab that. We're going to send everyone home because they did a great job winning the war. Do we have anyone else around here? Come to there you guys come there and you guys are actually going to stay up in california ah oh, the mojave i love it just in case just in case you never know what might happen rosarito nice we have so much money i'm going to build, build some forts around here and oh man that definitely tanked but let's see what are we going to do ah naval base is good 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 
I want to really make sure our industry is doing well. So we're going to grab railroads and then we're going to get some steel industry. We can build some roads, right? Build roads, forts. And who's immigrating to America? Everyone is. We have quite a few Turks or people from Ottoman. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, I'm glad I didn't touch my spending yet because this is going to be a big old problem. But this always happens. Like, uh, it's annoying. I need to get more forts because I can afford it. Like, I'm America. We got a lot of money. We occasionally take out South American people, but you know, whatever. Pretty normal stuff. Bring us prosperity. Good. Cuba. No. We good, man. We good. Oh, naval base. Oh, yeah. Naval bases. I should probably do that. But you know what? I'll do that off of screen. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, you guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Look how small Mexico is. And I love them so much. But I will see you all tomorrow. And have a great rest of your day.